Wow, can't talk all of a sudden. Hey guys, welcome to the next match between Do Life and Masuchi. Upper left-hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the white Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Do Life as the green Terran. This is going to be on Revolver. This is BSL Season 13 Group D, the second match between these two guys. Do Life just felt a little bit off. And I'm not sure if that's tournament nerves or what, whereas Masuchi looked just really crisp uh, in Game 1. I do think that Dulife did a lot of things to keep himself alive that I felt that I felt were critical, like sneaking that medic marine ball out to his third and taking that high ground. However, it just seems like yeah, Masuchi after especially after wiping out that initial medic marine ball and Dulife being in an, a complete defensive position in that mid game, it just was an insurmountable lead. Do want to give credit? To Masuchi for closing it out because there there's been many many times where other players have not been able to close out that same position looks like we are seeing a nine pool opener for Masuchi on revolver a nine player map revolver is one of those interesting maps where I feel like it adjusts every single matchup and out of all of the matchups actually I feel like this is the one that it affects the least because that natural expansion this is one of those things where it makes it harder for Medic Marines to potentially bust, but it doesn't make it more difficult for them to defend, potentially. Barracks alongside that refinery. And on top of it, when you have kind of the horizontal walk, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Interest I, I feel like Revolver might be, this might be the most interesting matchup, actually, come to think of it. I want to see how it plays out as the season proceeds. Refinery being grabbed very rapidly. So potentially we're going to see a mech play. And actually, the mech play is the one play I don't like seeing on Revolver. We'll see what Do Life is up to. In the meantime, Drone Scout making its way to the upper right -hand corner. It looks like Do Life is making his way with his SCV Scout. I think he's going to the top right as well. Initial grouping of Zerglings being produced. Let's see if... Yeah, we are having an initial Marine. But without that front door seal... This could be challenging to defend, especially if it gets scouted sooner rather than later. As he sees the drone, sees the empty natural expansion, the natural expansion has been grabbed from Masuchi. This might be a quick match. There's the factory. A lone marine is going to be defending against these six Zerglings, so SCVs do need to be pulled off the line, and it does not look like Dulife is going to spot it. He was just assuming he was going to go up against the 12th hatch and a later Zergling spawn. Now a much, yeah, missing that first rotation. So that Marine now backing off. So any hopes of hiding the factory timing, not there. A lot of SCVs pulling offline. This is going to cost a lot of mining time. And even just having those SCVs off the line makes these Zerglings worth it. Because this is a lot of mining time. Almost able to get on top of that Marine. Nice bit of micro there from Dulife to keep it alive. The SCVs able to box everything out. That Marine actually still dying. The Zergling with two health left. Not able to stop that factory from being produced, but it is going to be able to stay alive for a bit of a scout. And keep in mind, in the midst of this, Do Life, his SCV is still sitting in that bottom left hand corner. He has no idea what Masuchi's up to. Masuchi already on his way to Lair. And this was one thing with this mech play. Is one critical thing you have to worry about is that Mutalus transition and being able to have sufficient Goliaths and anti-air to deal with potential mutalisks. So building that second vulture, we already have a creep colony out in the front. One thing, this is where I don't like it on revolvers because this is, it's difficult to get purchase and sneak through compared to other maps. It's not as wide open. The drone blockading that front. Second drone actually pulling out and that SCV scout going to be denied. Well, for a moment there, it looked like it might sneak through. Vulture making its way forward. Maybe it can shoot that gap, but Lair is already up. Natural expansion is just now being taken. Second factory is down, and I do not see an armory. As of yet. And he's going to need Goliath. Spire actually being flat out plopped on the front door. So Masuchi actually just showing his opponent the tech. We'll see how this works out for do life. Supply Depot underneath. There's the Armory. Is getting a Machine Shop in the midst of this. Charm Boosters will help that effort. Extractor up. Now, 
think for Masucci is he knows he's going up against Mech. How does he want to play it? Is he just going... So oftentimes with those Mutalisks out in the field, you can see some, some players just like going for two base Mutalisk or two base busts with Zerglings and Mutalisks to deal with Mech play. Other players like going for that third hatch and macroing up from there and mixing in Hydralisks. Factory's remaining idle, idle, bleh, idle. First two Goliaths and level one armor, vehicle plating, I should say, being upgraded. Spire just about finished. And I'm hoping to see an engineering bay. Yeah, there's the engineering bay to provide some support for Do Life. So now Do Life needs to play the I Stay Alive game, grabbing that second gas, which is absolutely critical for running this style of mech play. But he needs to, yeah, continue pumping those Goliaths and survive the potential onslaught from Masuchi. Masuchi going to have, and actually upgrading weapons one, going for an in base third hatchery at his natural expansion. So I think he's just going to try to do it off two bases and maybe just have more Mutalisks and try to find the timing where he can break through and punish those Goliaths while they're in smaller number, uh, smaller numbers. Third and fourth Goliath are out on the field. And this is kind of that moment where if those Goliaths, especially against these initial six Mutalisks, are somewhat vulnerable. So two... Two Goliaths spread here, two Goliaths there. Turrets starting to be planted. Already have one up, that natural expansion. Saving Grace is, is this is a long distance to the Terran main. The Mutalisk is diving right into the main, though. Greeted by two turrets. You're going to get at least an SCV kill. Here's the other problem for Mech. Is these Goliaths are not extremely mobile. However, their ranks are growing. And it's funny, because I was actually having a discussion regarding Medic Marines. Some vultures getting picked off. Masucci finding weak spots where he can. Has nine Mutalisks patrolling. Level and weapons a ways off. Trying to find that balance of droning between this. He's going to be able to take this turret down before the Goliaths are able to support. Looks like he might be able to get a second turret down as well. The SCV's exiting the main. So doing a decent amount of harassment. I think a Mutalisk... Got caught in the midst of that, though. Eight Goliaths total, but they've got a lot of territory to cover, and yeah, those turrets need to be rebuilt. That armor plating is going to finish before level one weapons. So now Masuchi is he is going to go ahead and opt, upon seeing what he's seeing, to go ahead and grab an additional base, harassing that natural expansion, but taking a lot of damage in his effort to do so, really abusing the Goliath's inability to cover massive amounts of territory rapidly. The second problem with this for Do Life, though, is, is he still got the long march towards the Zerg main, and that is a lot of opportunity to get surrounded. And there's those eggs he's going to have to deal with. This is going to be a chance, like, he's going to have to walk up and around, potentially. Looks like Masuchi wants to potentially do it just uh, with Mutalisk alone, so maybe potentially just Mutaling. And nothing else. The Mutalists have snuck back into the main. They're working on the armory now. Looks like one Mutalist is going to get picked off, reducing their number to 10. Level and weapons upgrading. The SCV is returning fairly rapidly. Do life with a sizable worker count. It's all he wants in the midst of this. The other critical piece for Do life is when he moves out, he needs to get something done with the Goliaths. Because if you move out with this very expensive mech army and you don't inflict some significant damage on your Zerg opponent and you lose that Goliath army, that puts you way behind. The mech is expensive. It is not Medic Marine, where you can just rebuild it very rapidly. The Goliath is trying to take a southerly route. Hydalus Den up now from Asuchi. I believe he wants to supplement this Hydralis or sorry, this Mutalisk force with Hydralisks. Starting to build that now. Mutalisk cycling back around. Going to go ahead and dive back into the main. Three Goliaths are there to support. The Goliaths marching forward. They're finding an Overlord. That is going to put Masuchi in the red briefly. And they are moving rapidly up. 
to Masucci's third. Two creep colonies being planted, and now we're going to have to see yeah, the micro versus micro and who macroed better in mid-game. So Mutal is taking some free shots. Every shot counts. The Goliaths peeling up. The sunken colonies are not there. Zerglings and Mutalists, not a lot of Hydralists to group up, so it's got to be the Mutalists alone. Mutalists not trading well, but that does buy time for the sunken colonies to go up. And Dewlife doesn't like what he sees. He's actually going to back off a half second. Maybe wait for a level 1 weapons to come online. Filter in a handful of more Goliaths before proceeding. That is getting time for Masuchi to go ahead and peel some additional army f forward. However, the Mutalists are going to dive around. They're just going to try to dive into the main while these Goliaths are out of position. Which could turn into a base exchange situation. Do life hovering forward. Level 1 weapons now finishing. He's got... Looks like a control group and a half. But the Mutalisks now back at the main. Full control group here. Looks like four Goliaths spawning rapidly to go ahead and engage this. Goliaths actually coming back to home base for Dewlife. So he's respecting the Mutalist threat. And the SCV is being pulled off the main. Four Mutalists down. And Masushi pulling back. Do life actually ahead in supply, 104 to 67 at this stage. Overlord getting picked off. As I, I believe that was the micro overlord to group up, and these Mutalists look like they're going to be pinned in and picked off. So Do life with the mech switch, actually might be able to take out Masuchi here momentarily. He's got a siege tank, a lot of Goliaths peeling forward. And it looks like it is mostly a control group of Hydralisks to try to defend. The one advantage, again, is that the natural expansion is difficult to crack. And, ooh, these Goliaths kind of strung out here. Looks like a Mutalist is going to get picked off for free. Masuchi, again, wants to try to draw that... I think he's hoping to draw that army back. Siege Chink sieging on the low ground. Sorry, just near the ramp. Those Hydralists being wiped out fairly rapidly. Second Siege Tank coming into position. That's going to make short work. Trying to engage from the south. The Hydralists engaging from the north, but they're not able to get on top of those Siege Tanks. And those Siege Tanks just p crush those Hydralists pretty rapidly. And Do Life, I believe, has done it. Huge supply lead. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. And is just careening into this third base. And the Hydralists do not trade well against this particular army set without support. The Mutalists running forward, trying to pick off those siege tanks, but the Hydralists are gone, and they're just going to be an afterthought. Looks like they are going to be able to wipe out those siege tanks. But there's enough Goliaths there that, yeah, they're not going to be able to defend and hold this third in the midst of this. Masuchi down to 33 supply, calling GG there. And do life, yeah, a nice turnaround execution. That's what I wanted to see. We're going to go to a game three between these two guys. Well matched. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.